So what's your thoughts? Uh -huh. That's some hardwood, isn't it? Wow. That's some it's, hardwood. It's Ohio hardwood. That's that Ohio hardwood y'all like to tease us about. Super soft. Like a brick mat. <laughs> yeah, well, that's what they used, they used to yeah. do before they went to Maple. So what do you think of the saw? Now, I love it. Put, what, about three tanks full? Yeah, She's got a couple six. tanks through her at least. What's that? She's got a couple tanks through her at least. I think yeah. I'd put about a half through it before I got here. Okay, so two and a half tanks. Not not a whole lot. For 70... And we're just kind of some... playing around. We weren't exactly out here cutting wood. We're not timing anything. We're not measuring anything. We're just running the saw, getting a feel for it. Uh, I like it better than the first time I ran it. First one had a 28-inch bar. It felt... Like loosey goosey middle. what's that loosey goosey it felt loosey goosey <laughs> it did it did not feel right this it feels at home that that's the bar you want on it i have a brand new steel light 25 inch ordered for it should okay. have that next week that'll be a perfect bar for that'll it that'll be perfect for it a little bit lighter i think than even that bar annihilator sorry husky <laughs> no it is i mean you, you we like our Huskies. This is not a knock on any brand. This is just a fantastic saw. It's a game changer power to weight ratio wise. The power to weight ratio for sure. Again, I don't think that the loggers out west really, yeah, I'm not a logger out west. Buck and Billy Ray is, you know, those guys. He would be a better guy to determine how he would like to feel. I think it would be, I, I don't think he would like it with a, a long bar. I think it would just feel a bit odd in his hands. As far as weight, of course, it's lighter, lighter. You know, it should be easier on your body, but the balance does affect uh, does affect how much it makes you tired as well. I think. What do you think, Brad? About about the long bar. Out when west. you pick this saw up and just shake it, you can see quite a bit of movement in the bar tip, and I can see. I mean, that's very subjective, but you can see how a longer bar would make a significant difference with it. It's, it's, it's fine with this bar, honestly. It's great AV. Yeah. I mean... I, I don't have a problem. It doesn't look that wobbly to me. It's fine to me. With with the 28-inch, like I said, it felt like a little but this is fine. And like I was saying earlier, we're splitting hairs here. This saw would be perfectly fine with a 28 or 32, but for the perfect setup, 
Yeah, for, for discriminating people who run a salt every day. For me, I, I don't care. I really wouldn't, it wouldn't bother. Maybe we care more. I don't think so. <laughs> no, I think those guys are in tune with, with their tools. That makes sense. I think they're in tune with how they feel and operate. We're just a little bit more particular than your average chainsaw user, though. Yeah. Have to admit that. We're chainsaw freaks. That's, that's, that's true. Admittedly so. That's true. I mean, what's not to like about this? 13 and a quarter pound power head. Same size as a 562. One but, or two ounces heavier. But how much more power? A lot. A lot. 